leaving Scotland, our train took us to the final country we would be visiting on this trip, England. We arrived in York, passed through the city walls, and crossed the River Ouse. We made it to York, our first city in England. It's beautiful so far. Walking to our hotel, we wandered along many narrow streets filled with shops and took in our surroundings. The area near Yorkminster was a bit like a shopping district, but small commemorative plaques and Tudor buildings with hand-carved ornaments indicated a far richer history. The city of York was founded in 71 AD, and our hotel was built above a site dating to that period, 2,000 years ago. freshened up at our hotel before we head out and enjoy York. And the cool thing about this hotel is that it's set up on the former site of a Roman bath. So they used to have like officers uh, from the Roman army quartered here and uh, they had a whole bath area and that's like just outside the pub downstairs. So this is like a super old uh, building built on an even older site. Exploring the city, our next stop was to the Shambles a medieval street with 14th century buildings. It wasn't difficult to see how the narrow streets served as an inspiration for Diagon Alley in the Harry Potter series. We couldn't help but visit a few of the wizard-themed shops. You can't really tell here, but the floor goes from here and curves down like where the fireplace is. It's all like sunken in. The chairs are all crooked. Cereal. American candy. fish and chips, a vegan oyster or calamari, and a vegan crab cake on asparagus. So that was pretty fantastic, huh? It was basically like the best vegan seafood I've ever had. I think the favorite was, I guess they were like kind of calamari. They were oyster mushroom like stems, so they were round um, with this awesome like garlic mayo sauce. Mm -hmm. And parsley on top. Yeah. Um, really, really good. The fries were seasoned perfectly. You don't even need ketchup or anything to dip them in. Then the fish and chips were pretty good. It was made out of tofu. It also came with a little tiny side of smashed peas, which were okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. The texture of the crab cake was really good. The flavor was really good. That was a lot of fun, too. <laughs> After 
having a bite, we headed back across the city center. Suddenly, between buildings, York Minster appeared, towering over us. As the English sun set, and the bells of the church rang out seven o'clock, we entered the grand building. It was quite haunting to walk through this 500-year-old Gothic church as dark sounds from its massive pipe organ echoed around us. Down a set of stairs, we entered the undercraft below the main floor. It featured some artifacts predating the church's construction and also served as the crypt for St. William, York's patron saint. One of the most impressive areas of York Minster was the Chapter House. It was completed in the 1280s, before the rest of the church. We walked in through a small doorway, and this epic octagonal room opened up before us. The bowl tiled floor, carved stone figures, stained glass walls all around, and decorative ceiling high above made for a stunning room. But what really took our breath away was the room's sheer silence and overwhelming feeling of peace. Ending our tour, 
we were led to a narrow staircase. Winding up 275 medieval carved stone steps, we eventually made it to the top of the church's central tower. From here, we had a bird's eye view of the city of York below. The roof lines of centuries old buildings were contrasted by bright narrow bands of light, marking the city's maze of streets. So it's 63%. All right, cheers. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come across as like super, super overproof. The, al the alcohol probably burned off some and it wasn't like very full. That's actually pretty smooth and banana y. It's good. Mm. Oh, that coconut on the side is great. It's really good and sweet. Very islandy. Yep. Try not to poke my eye out with this little palm front thing. <laughs> oh yeah. That's yeah. Really good. Tastes like a gummy worm. It's real spooky at night. <laughs> We headed back to our hotel and caught the last set from a band playing in the pub downstairs before calling it a night. Leaving 
entrepreneur. Our time in York was coming to an end, but we knew more amazing adventures were only a train ride away.